Are you facing the same issue where you want to access YouTube website or maybe YouTube studio from your Safari browser on your iPhone or iOS devices and it keeps routing you towards the app? Let me go ahead and quickly demonstrate that because I'm pretty sure most of you who are watching this video are facing this issue. Let's type YouTube on your Safari browser, search for YouTube on Google or maybe YouTube.com website. And I want to open up the website within the Safari browser. But as soon as I tap YouTube, it opens up the app and routes me towards the YouTube app. I don't want that. I want YouTube to open up within the Safari browser. So what do I do? How do I fix this? I hope that the solution I'm going to show you in this video is going to help most of you fix the problem. So what we need to do is on the bottom of your screen, you see the URL bar and there's a button on the left side uh, on the URL bar. Tap on the button and then tap three dots. When you tap three dots, you're going to see request desktop website, but and you need to tap on this, but don't leave the video yet because that's not the solution to your problem. Because even on this, this is going to convert this Google page into the desktop version, but this is not going to fix your problem because as soon as you tap YouTube, even from this, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to open up the app to fix this problem. What you need to do is long press the YouTube button here and it's going to open up a window. Now within this window, you're going to see three to four different options. It says open, open in new tab, open in tab group, open in YouTube. That's the desktop. That's the YouTube version, right? The app version. What you want to do is tap open. And when you tap open, it's going to open it up within the same browser. However, that's again, not this because this is not the desktop version. This is the app version opened up within your browser. If you want to convert this to the desktop version, same thing on your URL, tap this button, tap the three dots, request desktop website. When you do that, now it's going to convert this into the desktop version. And then you have the, on the top right corner, you're going to see the sign in option. When you tap sign in, I'll go ahead and sign in, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to how to fix this. I'm not going to show you my password, obviously, but let me show you what happens after you fix this problem. OK, now I'm signed in. If I want to access the studio version, I just need to tap on the picture on the top right corner and then tap YouTube Studio. And you guys can see as soon as I tap YouTube Studio, it again does the same thing, right? It opens up a new window. And I don't want that to happen as well. So what do I do now? I'm going to long press the YouTube studio button. And now it opens it up in the new tab. And that new tab now shows me all the options that I have on the YouTube studio. I know it's a little difficult and Apple should look into it and make it a little easier for, for people to access the Google stuff on their iOS devices. I don't know what is between these two companies, but that's how you fix this problem. Let me know in the comments section if this helped you solve the issue. If you're still facing any issues, let me know in the comments section so I can try to help you. I try to answer most of the comments you post there. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.